doing some spring hairstyles for you today. We're gonna move from the easiest hairstyle to the most difficult hairstyle. I really hope you enjoy it. So, for our first hairstyle today, we are gonna be doing a half up, half down bun. What you're gonna do is, I like to have hair that is in front of my ears. So I'm going to take, not just from here, from right above my ears, but a little uh, farther up from that. So about right there. That feels good. Then I'm going to take my back combing brush. It's really good for when I'm putting my hair up. I want to get rid of some of the bumps in my hair. Just lightly go over the top of like your ponytail or whatever. And we're gonna use a little hair elastic. We're gonna use a larger one. They come in different sizes. They come in like small, medium, and large. I'm using a large one because I'm using a lot of hair. Um, and so we're gonna take that and we are going to pull part of the hair through, but not all of it. There's still some hanging here. You're gonna twist that and wrap it around the bun one more time. And kind of situate your bun. And then you're gonna take this extra hair and wrap it around the base of the bun. And then find some elastic and stick the end of the hair through there. Then you're gonna take this, just kind of Situate it, spin it around, figure out, you know, pull on it, tug on it. Um, make it as big or small as you like. And then I'm going to pull on my hair just a little bit to loosen it up and give it a little bit of vavoom, vavoom. And you probably saw, this is basically the same hairstyle I was wearing in my uh, winged eyeliner tutorial. Um, so this is basically it. So now we're gonna add some beach waves, just to add some more like springiness to it, cause after spring comes summer, and so we're all about like nature. This is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray infused with dead sea salt and sea kelp. So we're gonna spray this in our hair just to give us some beach waves. You can spray as much or as little as you want in your hair, but I just kind of scrunch up my hair, give it some nice little waves. Um, and I only like these little strands in front of my ears. I don't like a lot of hair, just a little bit, just to make it look a little, Messy. And it, it does have kind of like a coating on top of your hair, so it doesn't feel like mousse, it doesn't harden. Your hair is still soft, but it feels kind of sticky, like there's just this coating, like, you know, be on your hand after you touch it. Then we're gonna add just a little bit of volume to the lower half of our head, um, just to. Give our hair just so it doesn't look as flat on the bottom. Do a little bit on the top, then I'll lift up like half of my hair and do a little bit underneath. If you've got any little buddies sticking out there, just find a place for them. Wrap around, tuck them in somewhere. And there you go. Now you've got a half up, half down. Fun bun. You can put the bun up as high or as low as you want on your head. It's up to you. This, it's your head, it's your bun. Do what you want. Sorry, I'm looking at my monitor. I'm making sure my hair looks good. I'm not looking at you guys. Sorry. Just really looking at myself. Now the next hairstyle, we get to wear a hat and you can choose any kind of hat you want. I will give you a few options um, and we're going to do a braid and specifically a fishtail braid. But you could leave one of those hairs out if you want. But if you don't know how to do a fishtail braid, I'm going to show you if 
it just confuses you, then you can do a regular French braid or you could do just a braid and just start braiding if you know how to braid. If you don't know how to braid, take two pieces of hair and just start twisting them and do that. Or you don't even have to do a braid, just wear a dang hat. And then that is like the easiest hairstyle in the world. That's what I do on a bad hair day. Just put a hat on and just go, I'm done for today. Good to go. So you cross the front one over the back piece. Then you're going to take a random piece from back here and take smaller pieces. You don't want to take too big. You're going to now cross that over that. If you can see that, my hair is so dark. So now, for this, we're going to take a piece from down here. If you want to leave a piece out. Ooh. My hair tastes like sea salt. <coughs> so now, I took this little piece right here, and I'm going to now cross that over that. Can you see this? <laughs> so you're going to keep repeating. So take a small piece from over here, and when you're done, you can fix or situate anything that's going on. Just kind of get the braid going. So cross over here, grab some hair, cross it over, grab some hair, Cross it over. And just, if you can see this, just keep doing the same thing over and over until you have no more of this hair to grab. Now that I've run out of hair, I have some hair here, but it's too short to bring over. So we're gonna deal with that in just a second. But I've crossed over all the hair I can cross over, like I've grabbed all of it. So now, the last hair I crossed over was from this side. So I'm going to start grabbing hair from the back of the braid and now pulling that over. Just, we're not gonna like start normal braiding because then the effect isn't gonna work. So now from the back, cross that over. So now you're just grabbing hair that you already have but from the back of the braid. And you're gonna continue that. So this is kind of what the braid looks like so far. tired of braiding or when you get all the way to the bottom. I like leaving some hair because I just have a lot of hair and it's just a lot to braid. So um, I'm going to take a smaller hair tie. I, I used a bigger one last time but now I'm going to be using a small hair tie. And I'm going to wrap around about twice. Tug on that. Maybe tug on my braid a little bit. Just make it look a little bigger and fatter. And then I'm going to fix this situation and fix this situation. I'm gonna take some bobby pins and I'm gonna fix this situation first. I'm going to wrap it back here and I'm just going to take a bobby pin and pin it. And I'll take a second one just to be extra secure. And pin that as well. If you've got some extra, if you've got some hairs that are just doing good stuff, you can tuck them in the braid, um, just in your hair, or you can just leave them and stick with that messy look. But now I've got a situation up here, 
Um, but I mean, we are wearing a hat, so you, if you know, if you don't want to worry about it. But if you are wearing uh, just the braid, um, I kind of just tug it in the direction I want it. And you can take some hairspray and just spray it, and then it'll stay where you want it to. So for spring, since you're kind of moving it from winter into spring, you can wear a beanie. Uh, this just doesn't really match my outfit, but you know, whatever. Or you can wear a nice spring hat. Now we're going to do, it's kind of a spin-off off of Milkmaid braids, but I guess easier? I don't know. You're going to take your hair and you're going to do two, uh, you can do French braids, regular braids, or twists, just like the last one, but this one you are going to need something. There's no option of no braids, so you can do a twist if that's you know, what you need to do. I'm going to French braid my hair on both sides. So there are gonna be two braids. So when you get near the end of the braid, you're gonna braid down as far as you can go. Now I'm going to take a tiny hair elastic. I'm going to just tie off the end of that braid. You know, worried about making them super neat. As you can tell, they're just like hair totally sticking out of these. But now, kind of tug on your braids, loosen them up a little bit. And you're gonna need some uh, bobby pins for this. So, here's the front of the braid. And I'm going to turn it upside down, and this is going to be the back of the braid on top here. I'm going to put it up like so. And then, you can take your bobby pin, you're going to pin it right where the elastic is. On the part that's not a braid, on the part that's hair, um, right like below your elastic. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other braid. I'm gonna kind of criss cross the braids. We don't want it to be next to it because it's just kind of weird looking. I kind of crisscross them and I pin it in the same place I pinned my other. One. Now, now you got some weird stuff going on. Well, first, actually, like this part, I could actually just tuck this in under this braid. You can tuck those underneath. This is what's really great about hairspray is that you can spray stuff and it'll stick it somewhere, help curve it and mold it, and it'll you can stick. So if I take that and I kind of bend it and I stick it and I hold it where I want it, it'll kind of just mold. Secure these with bobby pins as well. So just stick bobby pins in through your hair here and into the braid just to kind of help keep it in place. So after you kind of do all that, you can just kind of tug on your braid, loosen it. like a bohemian hairstyle I would I would say 
could pull some hairs out to make it move seem a little bit more loose. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Spring is just always super exciting. I really enjoy it. There's, you know, the flowers are blooming. So you can get a little girly with the hair. And spring's always a really fun time to do that. Sometimes it gets hot in spring. Sometimes it's still a little cooler. It depends on also where you live. I live here in the Bay Area in California. Um, it sometimes is cool, like there's spring showers and lots of rain, but then there's also sometimes not rain and it's just a nice warm day that's in like the 70s or 80s and it's just kind of nice. Hope you uh, try out these hairstyles. Comment down below and let me know if you tried them out and you know if you found the process to be successful. Let me know how you liked it. Please subscribe. I'm gonna put a button you can press here to subscribe. So please press this button. Yeah, do it. It says subscribe. Yeah, give this video a big old thumbs up and follow me on all my social medias, which will be linked below in the description bar. Description box. Box. Yeah, I think that's it. So, all right, bye guys. Have a great week.